to leave the dusty perceptional worldview that is causing stress, anxiety, depression, and awaken to a new lit reality requires a new personality. New personality equals new reality. This is why the Bible says, if anybody be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I'm not talking about the, this. I'm not talking about this passage of scripture like you heard in church on Sunday morning. I'm not coming at you with some sort of preaching mentality. If you just say this prayer, you can be a new creation, brother in Christ. Hallelujah. Sha ta ta ta. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm talking about is the reality of this uh, this verse the mystic reality of this verse and that is as we awaken to the reality of who we truly are this is the christ consciousness then everything begins to shift and become new and the old personality the old way of thinking the old way of doing things this uh, old self that was caught up in a dual world in a mixed up dual world of dual consciousness now shifts and becomes singular consciousness tree of life consciousness fed and all things this is the food you know not of and all things begin to really shift and become alive and become new in your life and in this place you're just living a present existence and again i'm not talking about some new age present reality like yeah brother we just got to be present in this moment i'm talking about the eternal reality that is uh, the past uh, present and future all caught up together in this one sphere well, I'm going to call eternity. It's one plane of existence I'm going to call eternity. And this plane of existence called eternity is absolutely lit. This is the place where everything is perfect. This is Eden. This is the place where there's no aging, where your DNA and your RNA begin to absolutely shift. And the molecules and the DNA and the, cell, and the at the cellular level begin to actually pass along information of present awareness instead of the time-based perception that causes aging. And this is absolutely powerful. So one of the cool things that ends up happening in this Christ consciousness is that our true reality, our true nature, and the reality that's beyond our fragmented perceptions comes alive. Everything from sickness and disease to stress and anxiety can be traced back to, the, to our perceptual reality, to the dual consciousness. But when we think this story that we've been creating. So when we think the story that we've been creating in perceptional consciousness and this fragmented consciousness, this dual reality, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, when we think that it's real uh, and all the characters in it, we think are just exactly the way that we think that they are. I mean, my God, that guy cut me off in traffic. He's an asshole. Well, Maybe he's not. Maybe he was in a hurry because his wife is pregnant. If you knew him, maybe you wouldn't think he was an asshole. If you had different thoughts of him, he definitely wouldn't be an asshole. He's only become an asshole to you because you think in those terms. You've made a judgment. Judgments are dangerous, dangerous things. As soon as you make that judgment, you open yourself up to judgment in that same arena, that same field. Like you've never cut someone off in traffic. I mean, give me a break. So understand that your story isn't real. So this moment, the moment you realize everything per, in your perceptual fragmented dual consciousness isn't real, that it's just stories that you've been making up. And in these stories, you are definitely the protagonist. You're the main part, the main character, the lead man or woman. And everybody else, they're just the antagonist. They're the enemy. They're, the, they're just backup characters, right? No. In their life, they're the protagonist. And you are not. Uh, for if, if So in other words, what I'm saying is this. You might be the hero of your own story and the villain in somebody else's. You might be the villain in your own story and the hero in someone else's. All of that is perceptional. None of it is real. And I need you to recognize that you are not the protagonist and the director of your own life story. But you can be. You see, reality is not what it seems. For the antagonist in your story is the protagonist in his or hers. Can you see that there is no good guys or bad guys? There's just people with different views of reality. As long as we believe this fragmented view, as long as we believe in this fragmented view, understand this, dude, we will not be at peace because if we're fragmented within, we're fragmented out here. Fragmented consciousness creates issues out here, creates dual issues out here to manifest bliss. Be conscious of bliss. You must be in bliss. 
The reason is simple. The statement feels so difficult is twofold. The number one reason is that we genuinely believe that the way we are is the way we feel. The way to overcome this is to flip it and recognize that the way you feel is the way that you are. In other words, you manifest what you're conscious of. Begin to choose to feel differently and you become that thing that you're feeling. You're not the way that you feel, but you are the feeling manifesting as reality. All right? And then the second thing, the number two reason, is that we genuinely believe that everything from the moment of our birth to the present moment is what we are, but this isn't who you are. This is just what you've been conditioned to believe. So to change this, we must be willing to shake free of the tyranny of the past self, and we must become a new creation. This new self has nothing to do with yesterday. The sick, old, depressed self of yesterday can be forgotten, and a new, healthy, ageless, happy self can be realized. The way that we begin to realize this new healthy self is be so immersed in a present awareness that all that other stuff, I'm telling you, in Christ consciousness, all that other stuff is forgotten. That's why the Bible says, old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now, how do you get to that place? A little secret. Shh, come here. Stop trying to get to the place. You are the place. Thank <laughs> you.